Good morning, everyone. Um, welcome to a new segment we're going to call Corona TV. Um, my name is Daniel Chancellor. I work for a company called Informer Pharma Intelligence. Um, what we'd like to do is, is start this daily vlog um, to help provide you with some um, verified information on COVID-19, what the biopharmaceutical industry is doing to, to treat and manage the outbreak. And then also, you know, many of, many of the people watching will be in the industry, hopefully. Um, and you want to know, well, what steps can we do or should we be doing to kind of maintain some kind of normality uh, through the COVID-19 outbreak? Um, certainly crazy times. I certainly had no idea that I would be um, recording daily vlogs called Corona TV. It's kind of a weird concept, but this is the new normality. Um, there's a lot of misinformation out there or just too much information. So what I'd like to do is to help separate some of the fact from the fiction um, and provide you with the, you know, what I think are the really important updates. Um, so the most immediate needs uh, is, or well, how are we treating COVID-19? Um, so that's the, that's the topic for today. I'd like to focus on um, what's the development of, you know, antivirals um, for this disease. There's a bit of a disconnect in terms of the huge number of clinical trials going on, and then the number of drugs that we actually have in the industry pipeline to treat it. Um, and this is because many of the drugs that are being investigated so far are you know, old drugs repositioned from you know, other uses already. So the, the most recent count, I think we have approaching 350 clinical trials currently ongoing or being planned. And the vast majority of these are taking place in China. Um, obviously, China is where the initial outbreak started um, and where the biggest need was for treatments initially. Um, and China really is to be praised in terms of the um, speed at which it was able to get clinical trials um, started. Um, you know, very, very quickly, huge numbers of clinical trials propped, um, started cropping up, um, investigating drugs such as um, traditional Chinese medicine, um, uh, re re repurposed drugs such as those for HIV, um, malaria, um, hepatitis C even, um, flu vaccine, uh, flu, old flu drugs. Um, the problem with many of these trials is that they were a bit hastily assembled and they are producing kind of anecdotal bits of information, but really nothing that's going to help address how should we be treating this disease globally? What is the best antiviral? You know, we're getting snippets of information about, oh, so-and-so doctors given a press statement that um, this drug, you know, um, reduced the number of um, days of hospitalization um, or it lowered the mortality rate. Um, but it's not verified. Uh, I would just say, if you're reading any, anything in the news about, um, you know, new drugs to treat COVID-19, take it with a pinch of salt, unless it's been published somewhere reputable, um, you know, specifically the New England Journal of Medicine or The Lancet. Um, I'm sure the most recent one you've heard of is, is, is the malaria drug called chloroquine. It's even received, you know, endorsements from, um, you know, world-renowned and um, infectious disease specialists such as Elon Musk and President Donald Trump. Um, just, yeah, take it with a pinch of salt. Realistically, the first drug that may um, produce positive, you know, robust positive clinical trial data um, and will then be effective and recommended to be treated, you know, across hospitals throughout the world is a, is a drug from Gilead um, called Remdesivir. Uh, Gilead is, um, has been very quick in its response um, to, to scale up production of Remdesivir for large numbers of patients on, on you know, in clinical trials, um, based on some early evidence that um, this drug, which it first discovered um, and, and intended to treat Ebola, um, was shown in preclinical models that it should have efficacy across um, all strains of coronavirus. Um, so Gilead started um, or has in progress currently two phase two, two phase three trials in China um, with a pretty decent sample size comparing against placebo. Um, Gilead's also simultaneously running trials of remdesivir now outside of China. Um, so we have patients receiving it in Italy and in, in the US, um, all throughout the world as and when um, they can get the clinical sites up and running. We should expect the first data for remdesivir in April, I believe that's the latest estimate. Um, this will go a long way to answering the question, um, you know, do we have an effective treatment? Um, can we be certain this treatment is effective? Should we be scaling up this treatment for as many patients as possible? 
Um, obviously, we hope the answer is yes, because it can go a long way in um, reducing the number of days patients spend in hospital, freeing up ICU um, facilities for other patients as, um, um, as demand for the, for the drug increases. I'm not saying that older drugs such as chloroquine won't work or, you know, the flu drugs think Fivipiravir is one that's um, also had some promise. It's just a case of we need to make sure they're being tested in the right way. Um, it's one thing to know a drug is effective, but it's more powerful to know how effective that drug is. Can we compare across trials or even within the same trial to say definitively this is the best drug? Um, we need to get treatments to patients, but we also need to get the best treatments to patients. Um, so that's I'm gonna, all I'm going to say on, on the antiviral drug development story for now, but I'm, I'm sure it's going to mature. I hope that we can um, cover um, some of the, you know, we can actually be talking about clinical trials as opposed to anecdotal press statements in the future. Um, but yeah, um, please tune in. I uh, hope this is a daily feature. Um, I don't know how it's long we're going to be going on for. Um, obviously, hope it's as short as possible and we can you know, flatten the curve, as they say. Um, but I think there is a lot to talk about and lots of topics to cover. Um, if there's anything in particular you'd like to bring up as you know, subject for discussion, get in touch. Um, and yeah, I look forward to um, doing this um, over the next coming weeks. Thanks a lot for listening and bye and stay safe.